Hi friends, it's Pastor Amy, and I'm here to tell you a story about the day that the church was born, the church's birthday. It's called Pentecost. But first, I wanna light a candle, just like we always do, to remind us of God's presence with us. Jesus says, I am the light of the world, follow me. And so we follow Jesus and we share his love in the world and we tell the story of how love can save us. So on Pentecost, it was after Jesus had already ascended to heaven. Easter was over and there were lots of people, in lots of different places, very different, all gathered together. And they were scared because they didn't know what to do without Jesus. And suddenly there came the sound like the rush of a violent wind and it filled the whole room where the people were. Then a flame entered among them and rested on each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and they began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability. This is a very strange birthday party. I've never been to a birthday party where a violent wind comes over, where the Holy Spirit comes and touches each person. Have you? I wonder what that would be like. I wonder if you would be afraid. I wonder what it's like to hear the Holy Spirit speaking in our mother tongue in a way that we can understand. I wonder if God's Spirit is speaking to us today. Well, we don't have any birthday cake, but we have lots of people here for a party. Maybe you could make a cake at home with your family. Maybe you could sing happy birthday to the church, not just First Christian Church, that's part of it, but every church everywhere that loves God, all the people. Today is the day we celebrate that Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit to help us speak and to learn and to have wisdom and to know love, that's a pretty good birthday gift. Will you pray with me? Thank you, God, so much for the gift of the Holy Spirit, for the stories of love that you tell us, the ways that you share your light with us, and all the love. Help us, God, to remember your love is with us, and to share it with our family and our friends and to share all that we have so everyone has enough. We pray for people who are sick or sad, who are lonely or scared. Help us to help them and share your love with them. In Jesus' name, amen. I miss you. I love you. I'll see you next week.